One of the most important things that came out of the Seymour and Hewitt study um, was an understanding of how important motivation was to persisting as a STEM major. And what I thought I would like to share is um, a list of the things that came out of not only their study but other studies since then that, that contribute to motivation and could affect it positively or affect it ne negatively. I've got uh, eight things here. Uh, the first thing is that it's important that students have role models, that people who, um, who look like them, people that they can identify with, who are able to model an enthusiasm and a passion for the subject, that um, is one of the most important influences on, on students' interest in a field and their willingness to stay with it. Another important factor in shaping student motivation is um, the quality of the instructional experience. It's really important that students feel as though their time, uh, um, it's really important that students feel that they've got an opportunity um, in a classroom setting to um, engage with one another, that there is a chance for um, addressing real world problems, that they've got a chance to work collaboratively with their classmates. We have more and more research these days showing that uh, we know what kind of instructional approaches lead to better student outcomes. And in fact, um, a lot of work is underway to help future faculty and current faculty better understand those instructional practices and get comfortable with using them in their own classrooms. A third factor that influences motivation significantly is assessment. It's important that the assessments that students get in these classes um, give them some feedback on their performance, both positively and negatively, rather than um, just grading them on a curve, which um, I happen to see as a form of ritual sacrifice. Um, we know from, our, from the original study and our own interviews that um, what contributes to students' um, frustration with, I think, a STEM major is the difficulty they have interpreting early signs of their performance. So, for example, they might get a test back and it's a C, and they freak out and they think they're not able to, uh, they're not um, good enough for that major. But then when they, if they were to check with their classmates, they'd see an awful lot of folks got Cs. And um, a fourth factor that influences uh, motivation is curriculum. So something that doesn't simply march through the textbook for the sake of coverage, but is um, creative and um, links with real world problems that um, lend some sense of relevance to the students who are um, examining that topic. A fifth factor that influences motivation is creating um, environments in the department, in the classroom, and in student organized groups that are inclusive and um, honor a variety of uh, perspectives. A sixth factor that influences student motivation that we've learned about from the original study in this one um, relates to um, student investment. And it's important that students feel like they've got some control, some ownership of what's happening in the classroom. So this means allowing them to exercise some choice over uh, what they do um, to fulfill a class assignment and also how they might demonstrate what they know and what they're able to do in the class. Another factor that influences motivation is um, the message that comes from the instructor and hopefully from the department that success for all students is a priority. And it may seem like that's kind of obvious, but um, those folks who might tend to grade on the curve um, often send another message that it's not likely that all students will be succeeding in that class. So being explicit in that message is important to students. The last point is that more needs to be done to increase the representation of women and students of color. Um, that means that more needs to be done to reach out to them, to encourage their participation, but perhaps um, as important if not more so, it's important that there are resources available to them and that they have access to those resources. So should they find themselves experiencing some difficulty that they've got some place to turn, um, you know, when they need help.